went into halftime, coach talked about somebody said was really most frustrated that somebody's ever seen coach. How, what was the mood like at the halftime with the lack of performance you sort of have then to be able to come out and play it like you guys did? Well, first half they were kind of doing some things that you know we weren't really prepared for offensively and their defense, meaning wise, and uh, we kind of had to make some adjustments, you know. And it was frustrating in the locker room and stuff, but um, you know that comes in the game, you know. They're gonna have ups and downs. It's a roller coaster ride out there, so. And um, but it was it was good. It was good. We had a uh, at the end of the you know when everything when, we, when all the dust cleared a little bit, we kind of got together as a team and kind of said, hey man, we're done with this. Let's. Let's start working. You know, let's play tower football like we know we have to do. So, um, yeah, it was it was kind of up and down, but you know we got through it. And like you said, we had a pretty good second half. You had a really two. You had a really good two pass games. Is this a deal where you're just clicking with the offense, or have you seen sort of defensive of schemes that you're a little more comfortable with playing against like that? Uh, well, I just think kind of I kind of modified my game a little bit. Some things weren't working for me, and I kind of just modified you know what I was going to do. You know, I was going to say said to myself. If it's not there, I'm not going to force the ball, and if not, you know, I'm going to take down and run it, you know, and that was my main goal, not to turn over the ball, and, you know, I kind of, you know, had that mentality going to this game, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to force anything, and I think, you know, you know, past couple of games, I think the offensive line's done a heck of a job protecting-wise, you know, and our pass protections and stuff, and keep me comfortable enough in the pocket, and, you know, to make reads down the field and come down to my check down, so. You know, those things are definitely the, you know, what wasn't, wasn't much of the defenses, I don't think. I think it's more of, you know, us, you know, getting more comfortable in the offense every week and stuff, so definitely. You mentioned your ability to run lately. You've been doing that a lot. Uh, how much have the coaches been sort of stressing that you do take those yards whenever you get them, whenever you see grass in front of you? Oh, definitely. Yeah, we, that's an emphasis we had, you know, all season. It finally kind of clicked for me. I kind of, you know, I took off that little, that little knee brace I had and kind of said, I kind of told myself, you know, if it's there, I'm gonna take it, you know, and you know, and you know, and and uh, you know, it wasn't. You know, we kind of focus it in practice. You know, each day we have little drills for me to, you know, avoid things and and step up and do it. But I just wasn't account wasn't you know comfortable enough to do it early, and so I finally kind of said, you know, let's do this thing, and you know, it gets everyone else pumped up on the sideline, I think, and um, I can see that energy in the, on, you know. When we watched the highlight tape of me running and stuff, and I kind of was, it kind of clicked to me like, all right, I got to do this, you know. So that final drive, that's the first time you guys have ever really had to do that this year, having to come from behind to win the What, if, how much do you think that helps your confidence and the ability to do that just moving forward? Oh, it definitely is a confidence builder for the whole team, not just myself. But um, it was good to see, you know, and, and you can see in those guys' eyes on the field that. You know, we were going to win this game. You know, we were we just just had that feel, you know, on the in, in the huddle and on the field and how things were clicking and coach was play calling and that set and that last drive was unbelievable. You know, and the guys were just wide open. You know, and when that it makes it so easy for you as a quarterback to, you know, really have to go one, two, three. You have to go just one. You know, and um, it was good. You know, offensive line did a heck of a job protecting. I mean, it was probably the best all year in protection wise that last series. And you know, we've we've had success driving the ball. We just weren't be able to finish. You know, a lot in the red zone. You know, there's a couple other drives we've had, and um, I think that this time, you know, we made it clear in the huddle, and I got those guys kind of pumped up. So we're going to finish this drive. You know, we, we need to do this. We we failed before, so we have we, we have to score. So it's been an up and down year for you. Twice you lost your job. As far as starting, you've gotten it back. How have you handled all the you know the adversity and even maybe criticism from outside? You know, people. How do you feel to handle that up to this point? I think it, you know, I really I don't really feel much pressure outside, honestly. And, um, you know, I just kind of just, you know, God's got a plan for it. And I just believe that 155%. And, you know, and I just kind of believe in his path. And, you know, I've kind of just, you know, that's that's life. You know, adversity hits you in every, you know, every aspect of your life. And so it's been up and down, but I think we're all right. I and mean, we're all right now. And we're going to, you know, we're ready for another win. So. Are you looking at it? defensive line and sort of inexperience as you guys are. How good was it to see you all come out and play well against two teams like Navy and Army that run the ball? You know, it was really good um, having the game plan and having us uh, work together during the week and us to go out there and uh, perform the way that we did with such an unexperienced line. Um, it was it was really good for us, um, both playing Navy and Army. Do you feel like this bye week is coming at a good time or if you got a little momentum which you want to try to keep playing? Um, I think we can always use a bye week because it's always another opportunity to get better. 
Um, so um, I think that's a good thing. I always have a, a bye week. This is for both of you guys. Game to start with you. You guys are obviously bowl eligible. You obviously you, there's possibly more work to be done. I mean, how, from that perspective, you feel like these next two are, are must wins for you guys to try to improve your position there. Oh yeah, these are definitely must wins. Um, I see every game as a must win, and so with these last two. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I think that it's best for us to go out here and use every week to our advantage point so that we can go out and um, end up four, eight and four. Well, I just think we have to have, you know, the best possible record, you know, to set us up for a bowl because, you know, what happened to us two years ago and we kind of got snubbed a little bit and I feel like eight and four, we'll definitely get into a bowl and, you know, I'm not saying, and you know, that we have to win the next two. I'm just saying that we have to win the next one because it's the next one, you know, and I, I'm taking it as one game at a time, one practice at a time, you know, as personally, so. Brandon, has sort of some recent, not really recently, but this year the receivers have sort of dropped a lot of passes, so to say. How, how good was it to finally connect with Willie McNeil for two scores and potentially three? Um, but just with the rest of the receivers, how are things sort of clicking with you all now? It's awesome, man, to see those guys grow. You know, we had a lot of – young receivers you know all our receivers are freshmen or you know young Willie's probably the only one that's really you know got any game time experience and you know it, with experience comes you know those guys get more comfortable the game slows down for them a little bit and you can see that in Nicholas Norris and Taewon Taylor and those those guys man they're making a, a big time strides in the right direction and Willie's always there you know he's always wanting the ball and that's that's something special in a receiver when a receiver really wants the ball all the time you know hey look for me in this route you know look for me here you know and um, you know you know, and it's, it was special to see him go out there and just really, you know, work. He wanted the ball so much, and in practice we emphasized him getting the ball. And, um, you know, it worked for us, so definitely. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks Thank guys. you. Thank you.